kind of like a cross between a clarinet and a saxophone. This one I'm going to be making out of maple. Okay, this piece of maple has a hole right down the middle of it. Which okay, so I'm starting the roughing process with a simple roughing gouge. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is turn this section down to that desired size. Okay, there it is. I think that's pretty close. Okay, now I have my holes marked, and my end marked, and the head marked. So I think I'm pretty much ready here. I'm going to do a little more sanding down here maybe, and that's about it. So now I'm drilling holes. In these locations. And those I just copied. So now I'm uh, cutting away the excess, plugging this hole end just a little way down inside so that when I slice it off, I have an end here. So I'm going to turn down the end of this to create a dowel to put inside. That looks really good. Okay, so I just laid down this plug dowel that fits perfectly inside of here. Made a reference line, made a little reference line on it to show me just how far I want to stick this in, which will be right to about there. And then I'll come back and cut it off here, and that'll leave me a little bit inside that I can then shave off. And a little bit of glue. And we're good. Let that dry. Okay, so now I used this as a guide and made a mark on my piece as to the uh, angle that I'd be cutting. And so there it is. And what I did was sanded that down. You can use a disc sander or a belt sander. But sand that angle on it. And then what I'm doing is fine tuning it with a hand 
uh, piece of hand sandpaper like I'll show you right here. So here I have a nice flat piece of brass. You can use pretty much anything as long as it's flat. And I'm taking this here, holding it nice and flat, and then sanding it down until I'm happy. Okay, now I'm going to put a secondary angle on, which is a little bit lifted like this, in order to allow the reed to have room to breathe. Oops, there we go. Okay, so now what I did was I cut it off to length and now I'm sanding it down. And you can see what I have here is that dowel that I made is the stop here. And then the secondary bevel I made is right here. And what that does is allows the reed to breathe and I'll show you what I mean. So here's what I mean by allowing the reed to breathe. A little out of focus, sorry about that. Um, there we go. So the reed has a little bit of room to breathe right there. And then it'll make a sound. Something like this. There it is. Finished product. Well, almost finished. I haven't oiled it yet. Mm-hmm.